Hey everybody, it's Josh from WA Production, and today I'm gonna be sharing with you this awesome brand new plugin called Trivox that we've put out here at WA. And it's really an interesting plugin because it's not necessarily reinventing the wheel. There are other plugins that offer vocal harmonies and that sort of thing. But I find that it's really uh, the easiest to use, super intuitive, but gives you a lot of power at a really low price. So I highly recommend you check it out. I'm gonna show you how it works and uh, we can get started. So you'll see in the plugin that we've got uh, three voices here and each voice has uh, controllable parameters here for the level and the pitch. So fairly straightforward. If you're familiar with music production in general, you should be able to understand how that works. Um, so basically uh, you can pitch up or down by an octave, uh, depending on what you want there. And uh, it'll generate these three additional voices uh, in addition to your original source sound. So Trivox works really great, not just for vocals, but really for a wide variety of sounds. Um, so long as it's monophonic, um, it's really designed for sounds that are playing a single note rather than chords and things, because that can get a little wonky when you're talking about harmonizing. Um, but uh, so we've got these three voices here and we can adjust accordingly. And then it has this awesome super unison feature. And in conjunction with the uh, detune and spread settings, you can really make your sound very wide. Um, it'll duplicate and detune uh, your voices there. And uh, over here, you can adjust the scale. So you can leave it as chromatic so that it'll just uh, pitch by semitones as normal. But uh, you can also select a specific key out of these 20 keys. We've got the, the standard major, minor, etc. but then some uh, less common, more uh, global ones as well. It'll lock your your pitches into that key as well. So if we pick one, we can then select a specific key. Uh, I'm gonna leave it as chromatic for now, but then you can actually lock that as you switch presets as well, which is pretty useful. So if we wanted to leave it in that key, we can lock it. And then as we switch presets, it'll stay in that key, which is pretty useful so that if you've got a specific sound in a specific key and you wanna leave it that way, you can still audition different presets as you go. Uh, speaking of auditioning, uh, as with many of our other plugins, we do have the A-B testing feature here. Uh, so you can you know, set it to it one preset and then in B, you can set it to another and you can you know, see which one you like more. You can copy between them um, and uh, undo, redo, um, and then you can even randomize if you would like as well. We've also got a limiter that you can turn on and off. And then down here, we have the synthetic and organic slider here. So what that does is that it will, uh, if you're on the organic side, it will keep the formants so that it sounds a bit more natural. Uh, whereas synthetic will alter the formants. So if you think of like, um, if you're using a vocal, synthetic will give it more that chipmunk sound, whereas organic will try and keep it sounding a bit more natural. Um, and then down here you have your separate dry and wet knobs, so you can choose to only have the three wet voices or mix them in just a little bit or some combination of both. And then you've got your output gain as well, which can be helpful. Um, as adding three voices might increase the volume and you might want to tune it down or depending on how you have it You might want to give it a little boost probably not 24 DB, but you get the idea so I'm sure now you want to hear how it sounds. So let's try it on a few different Sound sound sources and see what we think So I've got I'm gonna turn it off first I've got this vocal we'll start with to be you. All right, so why don't we just uh, listen to a few of the different presets and hear how it sounds. We'll start with some of the vocal ones. All right, when we're trying out these presets, I'm gonna switch it into our key here of G minor and then lock that so that we can hear it in the correct key. Why does it feel so wrong and right to be you? Why does it feel so right to be wrong with you? All right, let's hear how this one sounds. Why does it feel so wrong and right to be you? Why does it feel so right to be wrong with you? Why does it 
feel so wrong and right to you Why does it feel so right to be wrong with you all right, that one's dope. So I like that one a lot. Um, let's talk about what it's doing here. It's playing one three steps below, one seven steps up, and one four steps up. So it's making a nice harmony there. We've got it set to the G minor scale, so it's playing notes that are all within the scale. Um, it's doing a bit of spreading with the super unison and detune features here. And then it's playing the dry and then 90% of the wet signal. And then it's uh, putting down the gain a little bit with the limiter on. Uh, so that's what's happening with this one. Uh, now let's try a different kind of sound that uh, isn't a vocal. People might automatically think that this is really designed for vocals and it's great on vocals, but there's a lot more you can do with it than just vocal processing. So let's see which sound we have here. Okay, so we've got a lead sound. So let's hear how some of these sound on it. First, let me set the key to the correct key, which in this case is E minor. Cool, that one's pretty nice. Um, it's pretty simple. What it's doing is it's just basically adding a voice, a pitch, uh, an octave up and an octave down, uh, and another one that is playing the same octave as the uh, initial sound and just spreading it really wide with the super unison um, and then kind of layering it in behind the dry signal. So um, I like that one, but you could hear there, um, there's a lot of different ways you can kind of layer that uh, lead synth and have it sound uh, pretty uh, thick and full and, and add some harmonies there as well. And now let's go over to our third sound. All right, so yeah, even a bass sound can be used with Trivox. So one thing to note is that obviously with a bass sound, you got to be kind of careful with harmonies because if you got a bunch of harmonies happening in the low end, it can sound really muddy and messed up. But certain presets here in certain settings will work really nice with bass. So there's this uh, bass presence one. Let's hear how that sounds. Yeah, that's really nice because it takes your bass and adds some upper harmonics by uh, pitching up an octave here um, and then kind of spreads that out uh, and mixes that back in with the dry so that it's uh, wider and fuller and um, probably more present on worse speakers because it has more upper harmonics. Um, so that's nice. Let's let's try something else.
So that was cool too. So it really gives it that kind of chorusy, interesting, uh, creative sound there. Um, it's really just adding three voices playing the same pitch, but gives it that detuned and spread sound that uh, I think sounds pretty cool in this case. So depending on the track, uh, you could use that and uh, have it fill more space there. So that's pretty cool. Um, one other thing I wanted to also talk about more in detail is the organic and synthetic slider. So I know we've got uh, this vocal here. So, right so right now we've got like a mix of the synthetic and organic. I just wanted to show you the difference if we put one to the side versus the other. So let's now hear it with the synthetic side. So yeah, you can hear that the synthetic side sounds very chipmunky, and maybe that's the sound you're going for sometimes, so that's totally fine. Uh, but uh, the organic side uh, maintains the formants so that it sounds a little bit more human. So let's just slide it around as we play it and, and hear the difference. So yeah, if you're going for more of a robotic, unnatural sound, you can go to synthetic side. Or uh, if you want it to sound a little, little bit more like a realistic uh, choir, you can go to the organic side. But really, just depending on the sound you're in, I would just slide it until you like where it sounds. That's what I did, and I liked it kind of over here. Um, but yeah, you can just see what sounds good to you. So as you can see, uh, if you're looking to add some harmonies quickly to a vocal or really any number of other monophonic sounds, uh, this is a cool way to do it. Um, if you're just looking for something to thicken up a sound, you don't even have to really do a traditional harmony. You can even put doubles of the same pitch or just an octave up or an octave down, that's a really nice way to thicken up a lead sound or a bass, you know, give bass some some higher presence, that kind of thing. Um, or if you really want to, like we did with this vocal, take it to a point where you're now creating really awesome background vocals for your main vocal, all playing in different harmonies and different notes, um, that's great too. So there's a lot you can do with this, and I think that for value for the money there's nothing really that quite compares to it on the market so i definitely suggest you pick up trivox go try the free demo um, it's got a ton of great features and uh, if you love it we appreciate your support going to go buy it um, but yeah i think this is going to be super helpful for people we don't have any other plugin like it so hope you guys like it hope you guys thought this video was helpful and i will catch you guys next time go enjoy trivox